Well, we got – oh, boy, we got some great local interest. You might have heard on the lead-in, uh, President Trump, you remember he was supposed to come to Sanford uh, Friday a week ago, but then he came down with coronavirus and had to cancel that, and it's been rescheduled. So he's actually going to be in Sanford, Florida, over by Orlando tonight to have another rally. And doctors say that he is not he does not he's not capable of spreading coronavirus anymore, that he is completely well and he's not um, able to give it to other people. That's what they say. And it was just a short time ago that he was diagnosed. So you just run right through that. Quick question for you. Yeah. Is Sanford near the villages? It's getting up that way. Yeah, okay. it is. It is. Did you see on Drudge that they had the Joe Biden golf cart parade? I did. And it was 300 people, right? So that was the big headline on Drudge. Yeah. 300 people supporting Joe Biden from the villages. Well, then I just looked at the population of the villages. Yeah. Somewhere between 60 and 100,000 people Ooh. there. Wow, so I just thought that was a little bit of a spin, don't you think? Because when sure. you read the article, it's like, whoa, big, big supporters of big Joe Biden thing. in the villages. And is this like four people per golf cart? I mean, is I that what we're the, counting? I looked at the parade. It looked like one to two people max. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so so there were a few golf carts. I mean, there's no doubt there are people in this state, in this country that support Joe Biden. I just, you don't see a lot of enthusiasm for him. You know, he has this this car rally where 15 cars show up. Meanwhile, they say down in Miami there were something like I, I, they said something like thirty thousand people. Show that sounds that sounds too big, too many cars. I mean, thirty thousand. That sounds like, I mean, how do they fit all those cars on the road? But anyway, that's what they're saying. And of course, we've seen the Trump boat parades, where I mean, literally thousands of people show up on boats all across the country in lakes. Uh, here in Clearwater, they set a world record. Uh, up in the Northeast, they've had several of these things. And then you look at the Joe Biden rally in Arizona over the weekend. And even the news reporter there said, you know, it's pretty boring. There's there's nobody here. It's just Joe Biden and his staff and the Secret Service. And that's it. Uh, so I mean, obviously people are going to vote Democrat. I guess there are some people that are going to do that. Um, I think the election is going to be pretty close, it seems like. But but it's hard to tell because the media seems to be so slanted. Now, are they completely off the reservation and they're just making things up and they're oversampling the Democrats and they're making sure to only sample Republicans in areas where they know the Republicans are not going to vote for President Trump? I, I don't know. They, they may be doing some of that. They may be doing that may be everything that they're doing. It's kind of hard to tell. But one thing you can tell as you can tell that nobody's very excited about Joe Biden. They're not showing up for him at these events. I mean, there may be at most a couple of dozen people that show up, and that's including staff and reporters. I mean, so that's really nobody. And you see at these President Trump events, thousands of people show up. There were eight people at Fletcher and Dale Mabry Friday afternoon holding Biden signs. Well, there you go. There you go. I mean, if you didn't know, uh, Don Jr. was in Tampa yesterday along with Jorge Masvidal, you know, the UFC fighter. And they were there along with some other speakers, some speakers from Cuba, some speakers from Venezuela, who were talking about it was the, it was the Fighters Against Socialism bus tour that Don Jr. is doing around the state. And they were talking about, you know, how important this election is, how Joe Biden is like a Trojan horse for communism. And they call it socialism, but it's really communism. There's really no difference. And this was coming from people who know. This was coming from the people from Cuba who said, you know, one lady from Cuba had come over literally on a boat. And she said, this was my experience. And what I saw happening in my country is the same thing that I see happening here. Changing all the holidays, changing the history, taking down the statues, you know, all of these takeovers of our culture and our history and changing everything is setting the stage for the Marxist revolution. And these people said it to a one. This is a Marxist revolution. Don't fool yourselves. We recognize it. We've already lived it once. Thank you for listening to the Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard. And if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.